All right, I'm heading into Tesla service, Tyson's Corner, Virginia. This will be the third time my front CV joints in Clevis Mount, actually second time for Clevis Mount. This is on the new TSB that was issued in May of 2021, because it's August, early August 2021. And hopefully it'll solve the shutter front end vibration problem, although I don't know, but Tesla is very graciously doing it for free, no cost. They know it's an issue, you see that, oh my gosh, a pothole, wow. Be done. Hopefully today. All right, so the, everything's supposed to be done today. It says they'll send me a message before 4 p.m. They want to try to get everything done today. All right, well, we're in our other car. Denise is driving me. And I want to explain what happened. My car's been in service since Monday morning when you just saw that last clip. And now it's Tuesday after work, after dinner. We just ate dinner. And Unfortunately, my car was not repaired at no cost, which is what it was supposed to be. And I made a big video on that in the past, and that's what I thought going in, but it ended up costing me over $1,500. And they basically told me that they don't do this for anyone, that somehow a mistake was made, and we don't know what the cost is gonna be to your car gets there and all this other stuff, even though they had diagnosed me previously with the same repair needed. And they ordered the parts and it was for the new TSB. And they said it wasn't the new TSB. They said it was a it was a revision to the original TSB, which is only available for cars under warranty, even though of course my TSB was done two years ago with my car with over a hundred thousand miles, and the warranty ends at like fifty or sixty thousand miles. Then they told me it's supposed to be under a hundred, and I said no, it was actually over a hundred, and I said, Oh no, well, we shouldn't that was a special exception. We don't do that anymore. And I signed the estimate. I signed the, that's not the estimate. It was a quote. I signed the quote for zero dollars. And I, they've always made me sign a quote whenever I get the car in. And they always tell me what it's going to be ahead of time. So I just got, it wasn't a good experience. I had to pay for it. And I, I said I don't mind paying for it if it's actually a fix. And he said, the service guy there said, uh, his name is Morris Tyson's. He said he would contact others that had it done in the last few months with new parts. And apparently he says he did and they don't have any complaints anymore. But it only, it takes a few months till the, till the vibration comes back. And I don't really have much faith in it, but the, the, the parts are so worn on my car that they need to be replaced. So that's what it is. And check the link below for the, the lawsuit to try to get some of your money back, which is what I have to do. I almost felt bad about it because Tesla's gonna do it for free, but now that they're not doing it for free, now I, obviously I have to take this route. I have to take a legal route. There's no way to recover my money, right? Unless, Denise, do you think I can get my money back? No. Yeah, all right, so that's it. I'm gonna get the car. All right, we're back to pick the car up. I'm gonna find it first. We think it's up here. That could be it. No, that's not it. The front license plate. There's that one. one no yeah, they all look the same. So this was me. They left the uh, battery out of the key and locked the door. So hopefully the car drives well. It does seem to drive very smoothly, but I am noticing that little noise from the driver's front. Again, it's still there. I thought maybe it was the clevis mount or something with the drive shaft that was loose or the actual CV joints themselves, but I'm not seeing that right now. <laughs> 